G'day viewers, Sepp here. Just thought I'd do an uh, overview of our restored heirloom. It's a 1973 HQ Holden station wagon. Seventy-three HQ Kingswood. It's been in the family since well, 1973. It's a family heirloom. Dad bought it back then. Of course, I got it well quite a few years ago now, and I restored it about 12 or 13 years ago. So I didn't drive it very much. I was working at the time, but now I'm not working. I drive it a fair bit. So the paint's the original colour. It's a lime green with a white roof. That's not the original type of paint. The original paint is acrylic. This is a two pack with five coats of clear. I've got a bit of the um, original acrylic in the back which you can have a look at shortly when I get to the inside. And um, yeah, it's 202, six cylinder. The um, engine's never been apart, it's completely original. The um, gearbox, the diff, never been apart. So it's all original. And I love driving it. Hopefully you can see all this okay. It's a bright sunny day here and um, it's hard I know with shadows in the vehicle so hopefully it comes out okay for you. Yeah, I did a few little things to make it look a bit better which is there the kick plates down here. Chrome them up. They originally um, galvanised iron. All the door linings, all the vinyl, all original. Obviously the carpet's been replaced. Give you a bit of a look at the headlining there. It's all the original colour, all the original lining, all the way through to the back. I don't know how we didn't damage it all as kids, but we didn't. There's the original colour, just down on the side here, it's the original acrylic paint, hasn't been touched, but I'll leave a bit in there so you can see what it looks like. The um, kick panels here have been changed as well because they were all, they were all knocked about. Look all the floor and everything's all in good nick. There's another look from down the, the back. the old original stickers we did a bit of surfing it's amazing how many comments i get on that surf shop sticker down in south melbourne it's a rip tour one this is the other side nice and chromed up cigarette ashtray in the back there don't see too many of them anymore I didn't worry about changing too much there with the door trims. I thought it works all right. It's got a little bit of wear and tear, but that's just the way it is. It's not a show car, even though I've won a few, sh few um, shows, a few competitions. Even though it's not like I said, it's not, not a show car. It's just an original car that I've um, I drive around in. I 
on it there. Of course, I've um, put a couple of stickers on it. I did paint it, the original colour in there. I said it's never been rebuilt, it's the original engine. I tidied it up a bit underneath here to make it look neat. The front was off, the rust has been fixing it all. Even though there's a couple of spots that are coming back through again. I said it was done about 12 or 13 years ago, something like that. Now I put a couple of these, a couple of these protective covers over the top of the wires. The wires are looking pretty crappy. And just covered in a bit of grease and oil and just mis you know, coloured and so forth, dark coloured, as you can imagine. For a car that's so old. Alright, well, I better start it up. It's done 168,000 miles, that is. Still runs beautiful. That was the original radio that was put in it when it was ordered. Down there, I don't know how long that's been on there for, but it's doing a good job. And that alternator looks like a fair age, too. It's working fine. Okay, if you've got any uh, questions about the car, just leave them in the comments. I'm happy to answer any questions about it. Um, other than that, that's it. Take it easy. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.